Hi, this is Ali Pordiali from Cookie.com. This is a short introduction to the responsive composition widget. As you may all know, the composition widgets are not responsive by default. So when I place a composition widget on the page and preview the page by resizing the browser, the composition widget is not responsive at all. However, when I place this little widget on the page, which is called responsive composition widget, and then when I preview the page, by resizing the browser, you can see that the widget is completely responsive. All you need to remember about this widget is to type the first largest breakpoint width, which is 960 pixels by default in the widget option panel. Now let's say that we change this value to 1200. Then I have to go back to the widget option panel and type 1200 for the first largest breakpoint width. Now let's say that I place an object inside the composition widget and choose to have it responsive. So when I preview the page, by resizing the browser, you can see that the object becomes responsive as well. You can also choose to have your composition widget as a light box and when you click on one of the thumbnails, you can see that the light box is responsive as well. So basically you don't need to do anything. You just go ahead and design your composition widget just the way that you used to design your composition widgets and place this widget on the page and it takes care of everything. This widget may look very small and simple, but there are a lot of things happening in the back. And this is a very powerful and a strong widget in terms of the functionality. And that would be pretty much everything about this widget and I really hope you can find it useful for your project and thanks for watching this video.